Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be checking out the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Custom. Now before we get started with the video, I know a lot of you guys are in the market for a Chevy Silverado or any new or used vehicle. If you guys want the absolute best price, best quote, check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's check out the 2024 Silverado Custom. Starting up front on the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado Custom 1500. We have halogen headlights, Chevrolet stamped logo on the grill with the Chevrolet bow tie. We have this really cool hood design up there, and this is powered by the 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder turbo max motor. That's gonna give you 310 horsepower and 430 foot pounds of torque with towing capacity on this one being 9,000 pounds. Two black tow hooks up front, Pretty basic looking front end. Reminds me of the work truck, just without the white paint. Moving to the side, we have these black wheels on this Custom. These are wrapped in General Grabber tires. The size on these is gonna be 275, 60-20s. They're the same size up front as they are in the back. For the side profile on the Custom, we have our crew cab configuration with our five and a half foot bed. This one is a four wheel drive, so you're gonna have your four x four badging in the back. On the mirrors, these are made completely out of plastic. We have our plastic window surrounds and plastic door handles. Passenger seat is gonna be fully manual. Here's a look at that five and a half foot bed. We have very deep volume. This one has a spray in bed liner. We'll go ahead and open that up and check it out. All you have to do is push that button and the tailgate comes down nice and easy. We have this hard plastic on the tailgate Spray and bed liner, like I said. We have three tie downs on each corner with our lighting configuration on both sides. This one also has the 120 volt outlet, but pretty basic bed to get everything you need done. Closes nice and easy. The tailgate is very light and easy to use. For the back, we have our Chevrolet stamped logo, Silverado and our custom badge. We have step ups. We also have step ups on the corners on the left and right side. Four pin and six pin connector with our towing hookup. Underneath, you'll have a donut spare tire and a single exhaust outlet for that 2.7 liter Turbo Max motor. Like I said before, towing capacity on this one is going to be 9,000 pounds, which is pretty impressive for a turbo four cylinder. Here's our gas cap, it has the capless gas fill system. No need to unscrew or screw on a gas cap, and it'll take 87 octane. For the rear seats, we have very basic surfaces all the way around. We kind of had this fake leather on the door, door handles, and our window controls with storage on the top and bottom. Moving inside the back, cloth seats all the way around. These seats can also be folded up, just like this to give you additional storage space. We'll go ahead and put those back down, and we'll move these mats out the way. There we go. So let's go ahead and step inside and see what the space is like. So just like any other crew cab Silverado, we have a ton of room back here. I'm about six foot tall on a good day. I have tons of leg room, plenty of headroom. This is about eye level for me. You also have the divots in the roof to give you extra headroom. AC vents for the back, USB-C and a USB. Other features include storage behind the driver and passenger seat. Hooks up there to hook up your suits if you're a businessman driving a Silverado. Handles in the back so you can hold on for your life. But pretty comfortable back here. Those cloth seats are actually very comfortable. Can't complain there whatsoever. Let's go ahead and hop up front and start up the vehicle. Here's the key. So you have your lock, unlock, remote start, tailgate, and panic button features. You can unlock it, lock it, and if you want to remote start it, you can just hold that button twice and it will get the vehicle started for you. If you want to cut it off, you can just hold it down again. But we'll go ahead and hop inside and use the start button. Same door accents up front as we have in the back. You just have more window controls, window lockout, and your mirror adjustments. Here's our mirror. So you have the little blind spot mirror right there in the corner. Full power driver's seat. Plenty of space up here. Plenty of headroom, can't complain there whatsoever. 
All we have to do is put our foot on the brake, hit the start button, and she comes to life. Very basic rubber steering wheel on the Custom. You have your cruise control buttons on the left side and your forward collision assist, where you can have a three car, two car, or one car length. We have our basic analog gauges where you can see your miles per hour, you can see how many miles are on the vehicle, and you can see your RPMs. Up in the top portions, you can see your oil temperature, coolant temperature, fuel, and your battery voltage. Shifter is on the right side of the steering wheel so you can pull down and go down for reverse. That will reveal your backup camera where you can either have a line for parking and parking spaces or a line for hooking up a trailer. We can also go in neutral, drive, and L mode. When you're in L mode, you can shift up or down through the gears by pressing that on the selector. We also have a manually adjustable steering wheel that we can pull down on. It'll go up and down for you and in and out. On the left side, we have an electronic parking brake, automatic light controls, more light controls for the bed, and our four-wheel drive controls. As you see here, we also have a tow mode. Moving to the middle, USB-C, USB, cigarette lighter port, three-prong, traction control, hazards, tailgate, automatic stop-start, and lane keep assist. We can control our fan speed and our temperature. We also have the super basic touchscreen. That has your audio, which is your AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, phone, and a bunch of different apps inside of here. You not only have one, but two glove boxes inside the Silverado Custom. In the middle, we have a third seat that we can lift up on. That will bring the total seating configuration to six people. You also have a safe underneath that you can lock or unlock. If you want to put this back down, you can just pull on this nylob tab. Two cup holders, storage in the middle, phone holder, and a little bit more storage inside the center console. But that's pretty much it for the interior of the 2024 Silverado 1500 Custom. Let's go ahead and take her out on the road and see how she drives. We're going to go around the parking lot a little bit and we'll check out the maneuverability. Let's go ahead and do a quick U-turn test. Very tight turning radius for a full-size truck. No complaints there whatsoever. As you can see, I'm sitting here spinning in circles with no problem at all. Very easy to park when you're pulling in from the front. There is limited visibility in the front, so you'll have to be careful when you get close to objects. But if you back it in, you'll never have that problem due to the rear view camera. All you have to do is fit those lines in between the parking spot, get super close to the object that you want to park back to, put it in park, and you're good to go. Also handles three-point turns pretty well, so if you pull forward and back up and turn back out, you can handle that no problem. Pretty incredible turning radius for a full-size truck. I'm very impressed with this vehicle. Now, this one doesn't have any mud terrain, all-terrain tires on it, so it definitely helps out with the grip on the street. Off-roading capabilities can be limited because of that. But if you're just driving this truck around town, I don't see an issue with these tires at all. Now, we're going to take it out on the road. We'll give it some acceleration. And this one also has the 2.7 liter Turbo Max motor. A lot of people are not a big fan of this motor, but it is one of the faster ones from the whole lineup. With this motor, you're going to have the fastest acceleration and the fastest top speed. So we'll go ahead and pull out of here. and get on the road. Now there's no sport mode, off-road mode, anything like that in this one. You just have your tow mode and regular mode. Right now, I'm just in regular mode, so we'll get up here, take a right, and we'll test out the acceleration. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out. So you can see I almost went to 60 miles per hour there. Very good pickup for a full size truck. As much as this thing weighs, it is definitely no slouch at all. My only complaint with this motor is it is super noisy. You definitely hear all of the turbo, all of the engine, all the time. It's a four cylinder, so it definitely has to work harder to get all of that power down to the ground. And it also doesn't sound as cool as a V8. 
but just driving down the road it is very quiet when i'm in the regular rpm range we're going to go through a construction zone up here and do the construction zone test Now, a lot of people buy these trucks if they're looking to get a full-size truck on a budget or they're gonna use it as a work truck. As you can see, we're in a work zone up here, so you'll see a lot of customs when you're driving by work zones sometimes. The work trucks are really hard to find at the moment, so this is definitely a very popular choice. I'll also show you guys the price when we get back to the dealership. These trucks nowadays cost a lot more than they used to, so don't get sticker shocked by this one, but this is one of the more affordable ones in the Silverado lineup. But going about 32 miles per hour here, very smooth down the road. We'll go up here and hit some turns a little bit and see how she does. Now there's no buttons on the right side of the steering wheel, which makes it feel super empty, but on the left side, you have your cruise control buttons. It's just the regular cruise control, so you can set it to whatever speed you want it to. It's not adaptive, so it won't match the vehicle speed in front of you, but it's nice if you're just cruising on the highway. This one's also four-wheel drive, and a lot of mistakes that people make when they have a four-wheel drive vehicle is leaving it in four-wheel drive all the time. As you can see, I'm in two-wheel drive right now, which is the best setting to have it in when you're just cruising down the road. Also, leaving it in auto is another terrible idea as you'll wear out the transfer case. But this isn't a bad truck for the price. It's comfortable driving down the road. It's quiet inside when you're not hammering around town. It's got a smooth ride on the suspension and it has a couple safety features to help keep in your lane. This comes standard with forward collision and lane keep assist. So when the forward collision goes off, you'll have a little red light up there that will light up red on the windshield and notify you to slow down. It'll also tighten your brake pedal so you can stop even faster. But that's it for the test drive portion of this video. What we'll do now is we'll head back to the dealership, take one last look at the outside and take a look at the window sticker and see how much this bad boy costs. So we are back from our test drive. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Custom? Now this is supposed to be one of the more affordable full-size trucks in the market right now. This is a step up from the work truck in the Silverado lineup. So let me know if you guys would buy this truck or if you would choose something else. Overall, it is very basic, but it has all the features that you need in a full-size truck. Five and a half foot bed with spray and bed liner, four-wheel drive, and you also do have a very powerful motor. Like I said before, this is the 2024 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab Custom 4-Wheel Drive. Black on black with a Turbo Max motor paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Base price on this vehicle is going to be $49,300. This one has all these packages, so total price comes out to $50,790. Safety rating is on this vehicle. And our gas mileage with that Turbo Max motor is going to be 19 miles per gallon combined, 18 city and 21 highway. Here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at it. But guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe down below for more car content. Also, if you guys are in the market for a new Silverado or any new or used car, check out the links in the description or the pinned comment to get the best quote. That's it for today's video. I appreciate you watching until the very end, and I'll see you next time.